Meet Paul and Rachel Hills, designers and builders of luxury homes for clients they treat like royalty. Once I found designing homes, I've just, I've never wanted to do anything else. My wife works with me. She does the things that I don't like doing. Management, structure, things like that. Starting with the initial land purchase for these palaces, everything about the Hills experience is over the top. Paul will meet with the clients, he'll get the design going, and then the design comes to me at that point, and I take it from the ground up. I know every component and how everything goes together because I've built it in my mind. This is truly a family business. Paul's son, Taylor, and Rachel's sister, Joanna, are key players. I grew up in my family. Uh, it was a construction family ever since I was probably 12 or 13. Worst case scenario, if we get the trust situation resolved again, and we may need to talk to our attorney and find out if he can help us. Bottom line, OK, I don't think we can get it done. And I don't know what your time you know, schedule is, like 30 mm -hmm. days. There's just, there's no way. With big money, big clients, and big ideas come big problems. The stakes are huge when you're building these kind of homes because everything is custom made. There is nothing that's standard or they've seen in another house. You're making everything up as you're going along. The challenge that I have constantly is my passion to come up with something new and fresh and awesome. But at the same time, if I do that, I'm getting into uncharted areas that could go wrong really quick. Because if one of my ideas doesn't work out and somehow causes a problem, I could lose everything. Holy cow, where's the trailer? Unbelievable. Somebody's totally been on this job site, so we've got to secure the job site somehow. This has been an ongoing problem. This is $30,000 that's coming out of the company. This is your responsibility to make sure that this does not ever happen again. Multiple projects and clients, Rachel must keep everything together. So you told Rick to stop painting in that master bedroom, and I need that done. I can't do that. But he no. said he could finish it today. He Wait said he could do it. You guys cannot come in and reschedule because somebody else wants to see a paint color. Working with Paul can be tough because the job never ends. We go home and we talk about it. He's stuck in seeing it one way, I have another way. I'm not always right, but I usually am. When you're out there pushing the envelope, every decision is a risk. You're battling the architecture review committees and what their regulations are. You're dealing with the homeowners. That lady's a nightmare, man. I, I have to deal with her every day. I go home, I'm so stressed. The worst part is that she will lie to our faces and then go home and tell her husband something totally different. But at the end of the day, it's all worth it. The most enjoyment that I get is coming back after people have moved in, I'll go through houses at the end, and it's just like, I can't believe that I designed this house, the company built this, and it's gonna be here until either somebody tears it down or it burns down. And we'll never be it's a one in our blood. That kind of luck just ain't for us. We crave it.